It's beautiful to see so many young people here today. Uh, obviously, we're going to just tell you a little bit about the independence of Bangladesh, a little bit about the project. And the struggle for the independence of Bangladesh wasn't easy. It was nine months where up to three million people lost their lives. And we'll go into a bit more depth. And in the midst of that, it, I was just, uh, again, just listening to the history, over 300,000 women, bad, bad things happened as young people here. And it says about 25,000 people were impregnated by the occupying forces. People gave their lives, three million people gave their lives. For the, and here, we're here today really for the remembrance. Although it's a celebration, we are also here for the remembrance of those who gave their lives, their valuable lives, and sacrificed their life for the independence of Bangladesh. With this now, uh, I'm very, very pleased to uh, welcome here today uh, our project lead of United Roots, somebody who's been working very, very hard over the last six, seven years to try and get a monument uh, really to preserve the history of the Bangladeshi community here in Scunthorpe. And through his hard efforts and with the support of North Lincolnshire Council, finally he has been able to uh, solve a historic event here uh, at, with Flying the Flag. With that, I'm going to pass you over now to uh, Latif Mia Kamali. Uh, can we just have a round of applause because he's worked very, very hard, very tire tirelessly over the last six, seven years to get to where we are. And he said to me yesterday, this is just the beginning and this is not the end. So there we go, Bishop. Honourable guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all with Islamic greeting, Assalamu Alaikum, and Ramadan Mubarak. It is, a great, it is with great pride and joy we gather here today to celebrate Bangladesh Independence Day in Skonthorpe. This event marks a historic moment in our history as we witness the Bangladeshi flag fly high right behind me. On this day, we remember the brave men and women who fought for our freedom and their sacrifices they have made to secure it. We honor the memory of the martyrs who gave their lives to make our independence a reality. Their selfless devotion to our country causes is a shining example of patriotism that inspires us today. We also celebrate the rich cultural, rich cultural heritage of Bangladesh, which is the integral part of our identity. Our vibrant music, dance, art, and the cuisine have enriched the world. And we are proud to share them with our friends and neighbors in North Lincolnshire. This event is a testament to the strength of our community and the commitment to preserving our cultural heritage. And look what a beautiful day today. I know it's cold, it's Ramadan. And look at the young children here. So yes, that is the testament that we are together and we can work together. We are grateful for the support of our friends and neighbors in Skonkor who have embraced our community and made us feel at home. As we celebrate Bangladesh Independence Day here in Skonto, it is important to acknowledge the significant role the United Kingdom played during the liberation war of Bangladesh. The UK government and its people stood in solidarity with the people of Bangladesh during the struggle of independence. The UK provided refuge to a significant number of Bangladeshi refugees fleeing violence and oppression. The UK also was amongst the first nation to acknowledge Bangladesh as a sovereign nation and its government. The relationship between Bangladesh and UK has only grown stronger with both countries working together to promote trade, investment, education and cultural exchange. Saying that the Bangladeshi community, the UK had made significant contribution to the country's economy, society and culture. As we witnessed the Bangladeshi flag, flag behind me, we renew our pledge to uphold our value of our country and work, toward, work towards a better future for all. We reaffirm our commitment to diversity, inclusivity, harmony, which are the hallmarks of our community. I am pleased to take this opportunity to praise North Lincolnshire Council for their recent decision to amend the flag, uh, flag flying policies. This decision marks a new milestone for the Council and a significant step towards creating a more inclusive and welcoming environment for all members of the community. In closing, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who has worked tirelessly to make this event. I know Raj mentioned many of the affiliate groups and all the groups who have helped us, and without their help, we would have never been here today. I'd also like to thank our distinguished guests, 
for their presence and their support and invite everyone in, in celebrating their historic occasion. Long live Bangladesh, long live the friendship between Bangladesh and Stockholm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.